promise you guys are up there for a reason and that my friends is so that I can zoom in show you what I am doing with everything the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna install the CPU I was originally going to get a 13100 on a gigabyte Z790 but we're gonna be using the 12400 this is gonna fit the buyer much better because they are looking to stream do content and all of that kind of stuff so as with any CPU you're gonna find a little triangle on the CPU and then on the CPU cover it's gonna have a triangle make sure you find that this motherboard is at the bottom left so we're gonna install it with the bottom left and I'm gonna pull it out that is what she said and I'm gonna stick it on in there <laughs> Yeah, just make sure it's snug. Then there's gonna be two little teeth here. And then you're gonna make it sound like you're breaking it. You're not breaking it though. And then you are going to take the cap off. Only thing that I may have an issue with, I've never installed a stock cooler before. And we are going to be doing that. Um, I actually built another computer for the exact same person. This is an ASUS DDR5 version, so that is why I ended up getting DDR5. There is a DDR4 version of the ASUS Prime, so do make sure that you get the correct motherboard. This is going to be a pretty long video. It's going to be the entire computer build. A lot of you said that you wanted to watch me do the entire thing so that you can just literally play the video, follow along, and any of the questions that you have can be answered. Uh, and the reason that I am installing the, the RAM this time is because of the, the, the cooler, which I might even, to be completely honest, install first because yeah, what I'm, I'm actually going to install this first. So we are going to place this cord. So apparently all you do is clip. I don't, I've never used a stock cooler and then you just push down, I guess. Um, and it does art. They all have thermal paste pre-applied to them. So I'm going to go ahead and try this and hope it works out. Wish me luck boys. I really don't feel like installing thermal paste more than one time. And this is really annoying me, this little cable here. So. Yeah, this is going to be the longest part because I don't, I really, I'm going to be, I'm just being honest. I don't really understand how exactly this works other than saying you push it until it flips. We're going to do that side and we're going to. Do this side. And do that. This side's not clipping. Unless I already clipped it. Yeah, there we go. And then last, we're going to do the bottom left. And I'm going to push it. Maybe I don't have to twist it. Oh yeah, you do, because it locks it. Okay. I've never had to use a stock cooler. I've always installed AIO because I focus much more. Feels like it's in there. There we go. Now I'm going to install the RAM on your RAM. So I did do this correctly. I, of course, looked up how you're supposed to be doing this before I actually did that. So on your RAM, there's going to be a uh, a slot and then on your motherboard there's also going to be a like two little two little dots at the bottom part of the ram i'm recording in 4k so hopefully you guys can see those little dots if and if not i've made many videos on installing ram and this is like what the 30th pc that we built so there's that and we're going to take the other stick make sure you unclip it most motherboards i've used this motherboard before so i know that it's the second and fourth slot and to be 
totally honest, like, I'm just going to guess that 90% of the motherboards out there have you install RAM this way. So, I'm guessing this is what I am supposed to do. So, CPU fan is, I'm probably going to remove this once I get everything. So, I'm going to remove that right now because that's going to annoy me to be. To be, to be honest, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off. The 12400 isn't really a hot CPU anyway, so this is the CPU fan right here. Okay, so how can I make that not look bad? So we'll do the cable management once everything is in the computer. Right now I'm just going to... Oh my god, no. Right now, I'm just going to plug it in and let it be. So, I'm going to do this. Squish it down there. Take that. Maybe it'll tuck under. Oh, the, the clip is probably going to hold it. No, it's not. That's too tight. I'm not going to. Not going to risk it. That looks good enough. All right. So now it's time for the NV. I actually have not used this NVMe before, but if you look on the box, it says five year warranty. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Five year warranty is what it says right, right here. Guessing that you guys can see that. And uh, of course I would forget my scissors. So I'll be right back. It's only going to take me a second. Oh, yeah, I'm already back. It literally was one second, maybe two. Not 100% post. So, I, so I, dude, I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm learning this stuff as well. Um, and I never really thought of it as a, a question in my mind. And that, my friends, is you are actually, I'm just admitting what, when I'm wrong about stuff. And that is the stickers on these. You're supposed to keep them on the actual NVMe. I'm, dude, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a normal person. I make mistakes as well. I've never run into like any pro this the sticker on the NVMe inside of my computer is perfectly fine. There's nothing that's I've had issues with or anything. So, um, oh wow, that has a couple of heat sinks. That's kind of cool, right? I, I mean, it has a couple. I've never seen a, a one with the with the with the bottom part here. I've never seen that. That's pretty neat. Uh, so we how does oh okay? So it's plastic. Alrighty, so I'm going to show you how this one works. That's different than most of them. This, I actually, that, I actually really like that. That's neat. Oh my goodness, man. Feels like it was like squished there. This you do take off. I know for a fact this, that you take this off. So this, this envy me, I mean, again, five year warranty. So I'm going to show you that before I forget. So there is a a little like screw knob where you can see where the NV the end of the NVMe is under there where the where the putty or whatever you want to call that thermal thing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your NVMe, push down, and then twist that plastic thing. Well, it pushes against it. I like that. I think that's that's a pretty cool, pretty cool design. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this bad boy right back on. And oh my goodness, that I need to go get my tweezers. Oh 
probably should have got that for all my friends. You know why? Because when we're tightening the motherboard down on the case that we got over here, we're going to run into this problem. But to be fair, the last the last build that we did, I actually did not run into this problem. Surprise. Surprise. I also. Hello? I was also very, 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 very surprised. Alrighty. So. Take that fella. Put my little, little screwdriver. You are going to need one of these little screwdrivers. Or you can do what I did the first time I built a computer and didn't realize I needed one. And go get a butter knife. <laughs> Yo, it's funny because it's true. It's funny because it's true, boys. It's funny because it's true. Oh, my goodness. So this is actually... Uh, so I, I guess I kind of lied twice here. And that, my friends, is that... I really got to get a magnetic screwdriver. I have one, dude, but it's electric and I don't like it. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't like it. I don't, it, I don't know, man. I, I literally got it for building computers too. I just don't like it. So. This is what I'm concerned about, is I've never used a stock cooler. So, something else really cool with this Asus motherboard, bro, is it comes with my front panel connectors that I can just, boop. I can install the, I'm, the, I might even get lucky with this case, to be honest. So that is all of that. That's how quick this part is. Now we're going to go ahead, we're going to do our power supply later in the video. I'm going to have you clean up a little bit here just so I don't get confused on what I have and have not used too hard or take me too long. Let me know what you guys would like, what your dream build would be. Like eventually, man, I want to start being able to do giveaways and stuff. My amp. So a lot of you may know about 8080. They basically do these like car giveaways on Facebook. You like you pay for a shirt. And thousands of people pay for that shirt and enter with that shirt. So I want to start doing that. Um, I think that that would be really, really cool and really fun and a good way to uh, both allow myself to keep doing this and supporting what I want to do. So this right here is the only thing I don't really like about this case. And that is you have to use these in order to like put the panel on I guess which I don't really like it it's gonna be longer than it necessary to remove all of the time and then the top part of this case uh it has a black filter so it doesn't really go along the white part of the build so we are of course gonna put our GPU in here in, in a little bit I got a 3060 that's the GPU that I got we're not going to keep that up here so too long so. so i'm going to go ahead and show you so this is the thing that it comes with i promise my face isn't going to be out of the picture too too long i know you guys want to see my face so badly so uh i'll put my face back in as soon as i can i promise um overall it's a decent case though i'm not like this that over there. I'm actually going to take these off of this desk and put them up here. And uh, we're going to need this screwdriver. And I'm also going to probably do the front panel first. So now we can do this together. I'm hoping that you guys will be able to see. Last time I did this, I, I failed. And I wasn't able to use the footage. Because uh, that's a strong twisty pad. That's actually I'm gonna keep that to be honest. Okay, so I'm gonna take all this stuff. Oh, cool! So it has different panel things as well, which is oh that uh that's another downside. 100%. I really don't like it when oh actually 
Oh yeah, no, because you have to snap them. I don't like it when cases do that. Zero percent. So, where's my... No, I'm just going to go ahead and... Do this. So... I'm really hoping that this came with motherboard screw. Okay, good. I'm gonna say, man, you gotta be kidding me. Alrighty. So I'm gonna dump this in here. I'm gonna take these out because I don't need these. Or this, or this, or this. Or this, or this. So I don't need any of that, so I'm gonna put that over here. Now. Lay a motherboard upon in there. Were the fans really in my way? Did they do that? Seriously? They actually did that? What do you mean? I can't put my motherboard in with these. Be in here. Holy crap. That. It's a really, really, really stupid thing we did. Oh my gosh. Dude. Why is that not letting me? Okay, there we go. This doesn't make sense why it's not letting me pull it. They tried to do cable management back here, but it's literally affecting me in a bad way. I'll redo the cable management. Don't you guys work. Your boy's fully aware of aesthetics. Uh, please tell me you guys can see. Oh. Uh, this is like impossible, but you're going to have to bear with me as I take a few moments to do this. It's a tight fit, not going to lie. Is it a tight fit? Yeah, see this fan wire is in my way. Fan wire, bro. Get out of here. Alright, there we go. Um, really? What? Why would they leave those off? Let me say that doesn't feel right. So apparently we're gonna have to put these in. That didn't feel right to me. I was gonna say, dude. Always small stuff like this that makes PC builds take longer. Trust in my process. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. That simple. It really is like grown up Legos, to be completely honest with you. I'll have a timestamp on screen for this part, anyways. Because I know this is kind of boring watching me type screws down. But I do want to show you all how long it takes to, to like, build a, a full. There we go. Now you're out of my way. Thank you. Alrighty. All of those. Let's get it. All right, so now we're going to take our screwdriver and drop screws 7 million times. My friends, let me know what movies you guys have been watching lately. Ain't no movies for your boy. No movies, zero. I haven't, I haven't gone to the movies in a long time. So probably my the most recent show that I've been watching is... Yeah, I was going to say, is my head boring it? 
the most recent show I've been watching is, uh, oh my gosh, football show, All American on Netflix. It's wicked, wicked good. It's Spencer. I'm only on the fourth season now. I'm not, I haven't finished it. And I know there's a fifth season out now, but you boys, it's not obvious with me having three YouTube channels, four Instagram accounts, TikTok. Amazon influencer, affiliate, designing a website, building these computers, selling the computers. Your boy's hustling out here. So I don't have much time to uh, Netflix and chill. You feel me? So, to all those that finished the season when the new season came out, like, what it's been like six months ago guess what good for you <laughs> if i was able to i would have as well dude oh my goodness we actually go this whole time without dropping any of this stuff i'm gonna go crazy because this will be the second literally the second build in a row that we've gone without dropping any of these screws and having five minutes of our time wasted trying to pick it back up get it out that one almost did oh my goodness all right so top ones as right, so we got these two that that may ruin our streak right here yo why is that not so I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna clip that wire with the RAM clip. Oh my goodness, that was perfect. Oh no, it made it worse. I'm just gonna move it right now. <laughs> Yo, you guys don't understand how how annoying it is. To do this part. Oh boys, let's go. All right, so this is the worst one. This this last one up here is the worst one. And anybody that's ever built a PC is fully aware. Getting way back up on in there is not the easiest thing. And this is where magnetic screwdrivers are so good. I'm gonna show you real quick so that you guys can witness how hard this is before you see the screw at the top, the bottom where my left hand is. Where my fingers are there's a screw hole up in there i'm thinking you guys can see it this is the last one so if we actually so the, i'm going to show you the strap that i use whoa that scared me this is how i do it i put my fingernail on the little thing and i boop it in there Shit, the cpu things in my way No way. Ah, oh, I did it. I lost it, Rip. That was an easy one to find, though. Yo, I'm going to try it with... Oh, this is the hard one, man. I can't... <laughs> I really... Dude, this is the hardest one. I hate this one. Because, like, you can't... You have to... You have no choice but to, like... You have no choice but to try to drop it in there. I'm gonna actually try it like this. We might succeed. This one really, it really is a pain in the butt, dude. I might go get my magnetic screwdriver for this one. All right, finger. Please fall in. You're so close. Oh, yes. Oh, boys. 
I was about to skip it. JK. JK, JK, LOL. JK, JK, LOL. All right, that is everything here, boys. Take this. Put that on down. Now, friends, we're going to take the back cables. Figure that out. This is the hardest part, the cable part. It's the doo-doo part. Oh, no way. Oh, I was going to say, did they? No. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Did they? Dude, if this case, dude, the only other case, hello? The only other case that I've ever experienced this with is the Lee and Lee. Oh, they didn't. Rip, that stinks. No, dude. So I thought they were going to put this all as one. I hate front panel connectors, dude. They're the pain in the rear end. USB and HD audio. Why is that one? That looks so stupid like that. I'm ripping it. And I don't understand this combobulation either. What they got going on here. Because that means that. Um, the colors aren't going to change. And that, my friends, is going to reduce my rating of this case by like a million, to be honest. Because that is not cool. We can't change colors. But be incorrect about that so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna take asus's thing actually i'm i'm used to it enough at this point because i don't know. all right so we're gonna i know this one i'm gonna be in this area so we're gonna put that through usb is so it's not usb 3 so I think this is down below. This one I know. So I'm gonna take my front panel connectors and I'm gonna put these up here. Alright. So that's the front panel connectors. USB is gonna go right here as well. I am gonna show you guys how to do this. I'm just getting it so I don't have to reach behind. And then HD audio is always over here. Alrighty. Pull that down a little bit. And now, I'm going to show you guys how to put the... Oh my god, that's what I was not wanting to do. Oh no! Okay, I might be able to... Please don't fall. They might have stayed. Yes, they did. All right, so I'm over there. All right. So where is it cut off? All right, so you guys can't see up to that point. So I'm gonna bring you over here real quick. I know I'm gonna have to set you up again so that you guys can properly see, and so that you're not witnessing my microphone and all that kind of good stuff. So there's USB on the bottom of the motherboard. I'm hoping that I am able to zoom in. If not, you guys are just going to have to believe me. I promise I'm not lying to you. And it tells you right at the bottom. It says USB. So I know to plug that in there. Hard to see. And then HD audio is this the is is pretty much always going to be the furthest one over. And I'm going to plug that in. I can actually see that one pretty good. To be honest, I can actually see that one. Put that there. Alrighty, now for the pain in the butt part. So we got this is so I'm gonna be I'm being honest right now. Okay, so I'm gonna put this as well. So this right here. Put the front panel thing on. Same spot pretty much every time. So the USB 3, if your front panel had USB 3, this is that's where this is. This is gonna be the big thing for the power supply. 
All right, so we got HD plus and minus. Again, your motherboard's gonna tell you everything. You just gotta look at the bottom. It's just a pain in the butt. And anyways, what I was gonna say is, uh, if your computer doesn't turn on, all right, so this is the power. This is power switch. All right, so here's the HD thing. All right, so plus, so plus minus, so plus minus, it means it goes upside down. This is really hard to remember. It doesn't matter how many times you do it. So I'm just saying this is probably, if your computer doesn't turn on the first time that you, uh, no, I can't. All right, so power LED plus minus, power LED plus minus. And then this is that power. All right, so also again, upside down. Like this part alone makes the Lee and Lee case worth it, dude. I hate, this is the worst part about building the computer. I hate doing this part, it sucks. All right, and then power switch. Is at the top here. All right, and that should also go this way. Alrighty, that's all the front panel connectors and everything. Now we're gonna take our graphics card. Make sure you unclip that. See, I'm gonna keep you guys here so that you can keep seeing. I know the it's probably uh, my actually you can't see my fan to keep my camera cool. Nice. Alrighty, so I really don't like that. Dude. Do not like having to force stuff. No, this isn't. Alright, so I'm gonna do this one first. Oh, sweet. I didn't notice that. That's cool. I didn't realize it had a screw. Dang. All right, so this one will fix it. So that one pulled it in. Nice. Sweet. That means I can do this one easier. Okay. Good to go, boss. Good to go. Take my sticker off. i to be honest. I would very much forgot if I didn't just notice that. Motherboard stuff has already been taken off. That's just something I've learned to do. And now I'm gonna... Of course, right? Take these wires. What was that? I don't know what that's from. Right. And at least attempt to push them. There we go. I'm gonna say, you better go back in there. Where's my mini driver? The mini one. The little, little teeny weeny one. Maybe this is my tool. Noise. Right now, you can put them back in the cable management knob that they had back here. All right. Oh, I am curious to what that, whatever that was from. I said. Whatever. CPU thing we're gonna put back here. 
so it's not as in your face. All right. So now, power supply. Make sure I put you back so that we're not like out of whatever video. All right, there we go. Oh, my PC probably roast. Oh my goodness, that's warm. I was going to say, my PC probably roasting right now because of that. And then I'm going to have to put this back on, of course. I don't remember how it goes. Is it bad or does it go this way? It goes this way. Oh my god. Really? It goes like this. I'm gonna say, what do you mean? Bruh. I feel like I'm not doing it right. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, dude, it's always the simplest, stupid things. <laughs> that really is, dude. It's always the dumbest stuff that, like... <laughs> Alright. That was supply. Pretty sure that power supply is going to come with its own screws. How long are we into this video? We are 40 minutes. We're not bad. We're doing pretty good on time. I'm actually going to take the SSD things out. Yeah, I don't like the way those look in there. I think that looks kind of stupid. I mean, we don't have SSDs, so I'm just going to take them out. I really hope they're not, like, covering something. Good. Uh, I don't actually I probably should, but if not my computer they might eventually add some again remember what I just said about stupid things taking up your time like this oh hey I want to remove those oh wait let me remove them and then realize oh I should probably not remove them <laughs> dude it really is like it's always like the weirdest like dumbest stuff Next up, we are going to be doing a, um, dude, I actually like this case. It's not, it's a budget case, too. Take this out. Take that out. Again, remember, if you're, whatever, if your PC doesn't turn on, it really, I guarantee you that it's probably your, your front panel connectors. I'm just like. I slur I really don't like doing it. I really dislike it. So, take this guy. This is a 550 watt power supply, by the way. You don't need more than this for uh the um for the uh whatever the The 3060. Your boy was on focus mode just barely. Alright, so then you're going to have your screws. I'm going to start with the bottom so that it... Kind of lifts it. Okay, you guys can see. A little bit, at least. Sort of, kind of. Alright, push this side. Looks like it has a few different types of GP or PSEs that would fit. It's kind of cool. I want to make sure this is super tight. 
That is what she said. You guys knew it was coming. Come on. And then I, I do have like a. This is what I'm confused. This is what I don't under. I don't. Because I don't want to not be able to change the colors of that, bro. That's going to suck. Real bad. Right. Um, hello? Why is that? Strip. I don't have any other screws. That's yeah, that's weird. Well, that sucks. Strip. Oh. I'm not undoing everything because of a single screw. If it rattles, we'll take it apart and return it. But I'm guessing it's not going to. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our big. So this is. So the graphic, you be careful with the graph. That's actually another thing that you might do if you're newer to building computers that would uh, cause your. Computer did not turn on. I am going to show you how to plug these in as well. Um, and that is. You might have uh, plugged in your your graphics card power supply to your. Um, man, dude, that's crazy. So we don't need any of these SATA cables. It's, I really don't want to have to put my own fans in here, dude. That or I'll ask Chris, cause the the guy I'm building this computer for, if he if he minds the default. Oh, actually. Oh, yo. So it, okay, yo. It's the same as MSI's case, dude. I'm so used to the RGB stuff, man. I'm so used to the RGB crap. Okay, cool. So there's an, all right. So that's why the LED switch. Okay, so that's how I'm going to change. Oh my god. You guys don't even. Oh, did I? Okay. The uh, the first time that I. The, the first MSI case that I did also had this. And it took me like. Probably like 30, 40 minutes to figure out. How to do it. Like I, I was like going through the RGB control. It literally had an RGB controller on it. This one doesn't. Um, and, uh, why is that not? Hello? Okay, I was going to say, what do you mean, dude? It's a big Lego chain, right? That's what it looks like, a big Lego chain. All right, so this is this is the CPU right here, and uh, yeah. So this one, this actually says it. This says CPU. Not all of them say CPU, and I am going to show you how to plug all these in as well because the power supply is something that confused me the first time I built my computer as well. So I'm guessing that it's going to also do that to you. And then this one, we're going to put up. I'm gonna put this through. I'm gonna put this one through this actually. There's a decent amount of stuff coming through this one. So 
Trying to hide it in the way. Alrighty. So, do my best again to make sure that you guys can see all this. All right. So, this right here is gonna go on that big clip. It's pretty obvious where this one goes. Alrighty. A quick glance, make sure it's there. And this is the, the PCI is your graphics card, depending on what graphics card you need. Like that literally has three of them. This is a lower end GPU, so we only need one. And I might, I'm actually gonna use, what is happening right now? I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one because I think I can, uh, uh, whatever. Yeah, I'm using this one. So I'm gonna use this one. Aesthetics, man, aesthetics. So MSI is supposed to be coming out with a new Z690, or Z790. I saw the other day. Um, and it's going to be like all this stuff here is like on the opposite side. It's on the like other side of the graphics head. I'm going to actually zip this down because I don't want it to hit the power or hit the graphics card fan. Chop that. Or not chop it, but put the the dangly part. Oh, I did have a zip tie over there. So that should look better. Yeah. Nice. All right. Dang, that's a big PCI thing. I could probably undo that and like put this under it to be honest but i'm not gonna do that all right so now what we're gonna do uh, oh cpu power this is at the top of your motherboard all righty so i'm gonna be honest this is actually something else that i'm not 100 sure on and I'm guessing it has to do with the type of power supply and type of CPU that you get. But sometimes there's two CPU things up here. And I'm guessing like I have both of them in my my computer over here. But I also have a 13900 in this computer and a thousand watt power supply. So I'm guessing that the like lower end power supply or not lower end, but the lower wattage power supplies and um the like lower end cpus they don't really need and that's everything now we're gonna we're gonna i'm gonna go get my usb and we're gonna throw windows up on in there i'm gonna turn my tv on so that we can do this together it's pretty easy i have my mouse and keyboard over there already so your boy's doing this more than you guys would I realize so this actually went on really easily right, I'm gonna keep the front thing off because I probably did the front panel thing incorrect like I do every time hence why I hate it so much <laughs> for real for real bros for real make sure that internet plugged in Grab my keyboard stuff, keyboard wire. I'm gonna get this way. I'm gonna take this out. Pull it this way. Gives me more room. 
Alrighty, so we do that. So I know the motherboard USBs are gonna work, so I'm not even gonna bother plugging them into that one. Everything I do here is to uh okay, so this does have hold on, I might have missed one of the I think I missed one of the, the cables. Because this says this has a USB 3. Front. I didn't see it. Yes. Where is the... Am I talking? Am I really that stupid? Did I already... Oh, I already plugged it in. Okay. Okay. Part moment. So, Lee and Lee... Just as an, uh, a reference here, um, they have a couple different USB 3s and the USB C on the the front of the case. So there's there's that's where the what I told you last time with the that part right here. That's where the USB 3 or USB C I guess would go. I didn't I. I spaced that out, to be honest. To be honest, I think we all have those moments, right? So this is the TV HDMI. So I'm gonna take this HDMI. And I'm gonna plug it into my graphics card. And I'm gonna do my power supply thing. I'm gonna plug this in. So the line is on, for those of you that are unaware. It's back here, since this is where everything is. And yes, I know I have to um, point you guys in a better thing here. Make sure you guys can see the computer and everything still. Maybe if I do this. Alrighty. Um, yeah that felt really good on my toe appreciate you all right so i'm gonna go grab windows and this is the moment that never gets old and again like i said man this is literally live so i may have screwed up those front panel connectors i've done it before so i don't know i'm gonna turn it on now i don't see no powers so I'm gonna go, ah, oh, it's on, it's on. I see my keyboard on. Nice. All right, boys. So that means everything is running. So this is my USB that I have Windows on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug into everything. Yeah, it's, everything's on. The RGB on the motherboard is there. So I know that's gonna work. So, I'm gonna take that. Oh, nice boys, nice. Yeah, that's the part that never gets old. And it took us how long? It took us. Clean this up a little bit. It took us, according to OBS, 58 minutes to build a whole computer. Your boys getting good at it. So it took 58 minutes. To build the whole computer, I'm going to go ahead and come over here so I can install Windows. I'm going to put HDMI in, put on HDMI. And then at this point, man, it's just installing Windows. I specifically have, uh, what did I just do? HDMI. Um, I put, can't see. 
I do this when I'm watching TV at night so that I can sleep better. All right, so F1 to run setup, boys. F1 to run setup, I'm gonna move my microphone. Aperture, please bless me and make sure that you, uh, so you guys can see pretty well, actually. All right, so this is the part that a lot of you might run into problems with, so this is actually good that I'm doing this with you. Looks pretty good, dude, right? I mean, pretty good. I'm actually, so actually, since everything's working, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this with you so that you can see what it looks like with this on as well. Since this is literally a full build, I want you guys to see what all the parts that you buy. Oh my God. Wow, dude, that looks, oh, I'm tinting. Oh, I'm absolutely tinting my windows. I literally have some. Oh, I was going to do my lights. On my car? Yo, I'm doing my case. It's going to fit, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's like an inch. Look at it. Oh, that sucks, dude. I'm getting tint for mine, though. That looks really, really cool, the tin. I gotta push this. I promise I'm not touching anything in here. I'm literally just pushing stuff, so everybody freaking out that he's gonna electrocute. Whatever. And I actually wanna try this right now. Okay, it is the MSI style where's the white the white's my favorite purple looks pretty cool orange white there we go white's my favorite all right so i'm gonna go ahead and this up oh is it breathing i don't like breathing yeah breathing i don't like breathing red blue looks kind of cool as well we'll leave it at blue for now so I'm gonna keep doing this. It will entertain you guys more. Watching me now. Okay, well, it's just, oh, that looks good. CPU fans working good. I, dude, I'm gonna be honest. That CPU fan doesn't look bad. It doesn't look horrible. And this is a CPU that doesn't really need an AI. Uh, I'm kind of glad that I did this. Oh boy, so I'm gonna go ahead and send my boy Chris a quick DM and be like, yo, buddy, that could sweet. And he does know I swapped the 13100 out with the, the, the 12 gen CPU, by the way. I didn't just do that without asking. I told him that for gaming, the 13, the, oh, I'm being serious, man. The 13100, that's a, that's a killer deal. For uh, for for a gaming CPU, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna find my phone, or I'll do that later because I don't know where it is. Um, here it is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and send a picture to him. My boy, my boy. This is the Pokemon streamer. Actually, I'm gonna. Ooh, that looks pretty fucking sweet. Part of my branch. I'm gonna go and do this. Boop. 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 Dude, I really wish they would have made that white though. I don't like the black. Right, so I'm gonna go be like, yo, it's built, boss. Hey, where's Chris? Boss man, ready? Let's see what he says. Go follow uh I forget what his YouTube is. Collectible tags. Collectible tags. All built, Broski. All built, Broski. Just gotta install. Just gotta benchmark the benchmark. Are you kidding? Benchmark and but windows. Sweet. 
I'm gonna send Jim as well. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. So we're cutting out 10 minutes of this video. I built the computer in an hour. That's literally what it was, guys. Literally, it's been an hour and four minutes. Send it to him. Jim just bought the, he was the first one in America to get the Huracan Technica. I'm literally being, I'm being dead ass serious, dude. First one in America to get the Huracan Technica. Jim C, man, let's see what he says. That's his car. Very cool. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and restart this. It should automatically detect Windows now that we're in here. So we got fan, XMP unlock and enable until we get Windows up in here. This is the overclocking, which this is ASUS. ASUS is kind of similar to uh, MSI. Gigabyte is their own thing, but hey, MSI, and it's literally MSI is what I have in my computer. So this right here is normal. I don't think that we can. Does it not let you until you, uh, we'll do that after we install windows then. This is literally just a waiting game. Now it should automatically detect it. Dude, I like the tent, bro. That's fire. That looks cool. And the benefit of this is I can look, I can literally throw everything in the asus armory crate which is for those of you that are unaware oh my god look at me i'm like way down i'm such a shorty um yeah armory crate so asus's armory crate is like an all-in-one software basically like you can update if you have asus stuff and you need a graphics card update and a motherboard update whatever update um so for those of you that are wondering why i'm about to install windows 10 it is because i really don't feel like going through the command prompt of avoiding the internet because quite frankly windows 11 makes you like they require you to be able to connect to the internet but the problem when you build a brand new computer and you have windows 11 is that all of the drivers need to be updated so you can literally not access the internet so like why dude windows hello hey have you, have you ever like taken into consideration that like 75 percent of the pcs that are built need drivers so I do not have a product key. You can literally use, so what I've been doing, cause I do like Windows 11 better, is I've just been putting Windows 10 Pro. I install Windows 10 Pro through the USB thing. That way I don't have to connect to the internet here or like log into my account. I can literally do all of this. So the file settings, app, so files, applications, Um, so we got one terabyte and BME. So now anyways, so anyways, what I was saying is, uh, so literally I just install windows 10. And then what I do is I go over to the Microsoft website. It's literally free to upgrade to win at least for now. Oh, it's that I was going to say that's lot. Oh my God. My camera's going to overheat. Yeah, well, so anyways, boys, this is literally all I'm going to be doing. This is the entire build. This is how you build a computer. Um, I sincerely hope so. I, I really do. I hope that this helps those of you trying to get into building your first computer. I'm going to do my best here. I have a capture card, so if the file gets corrupted, I do apologize. Um, so this is what the computer looks like. There's a budget case. It wasn't very expensive. I'm obviously going to change the motherboard from having the RGB on that Asus Prime. You can kind of see below the Prime. It's like it's glowing different RGB colors. 
And then the memory, also I'm gonna swap that to white. You can do that in ACC's software. But anyways, man, yeah. The whole, the, all I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be setting up Windows. It's very self-explanatory, at least Windows 10. If you're installing Windows 11, you might run into some problems like needing con to connect to the internet, but unfortunately you can't connect to the internet because the motherboard's drivers are out of date. So anyways, a way to avoid having to go into your, not your, your command CMD, command something. I forget what it's called. And you're not focusing on my face. You're focusing on my microphone. Uh, the command prompt. It's the only downside about all of that. Where, where's the face recognition? So yeah, literally I, I'm just recommending that you guys install Windows 10 and, and do everything from that, man, because like. You do, you have, I, I've, I've, it's the command. So where you type in all the code, you have to type in a certain code in order to like bypass the whole Windows setup so that you don't have to go on the internet. So I recommend installing Windows 10 like I'm doing right now. It doesn't take very long, especially if you have an NVMe inside of your computer. It's very quick. If it's not obvious, it's already done. So one hour build, sending messages, sharing, doesn't count. One hour build here. Now it's just going to set up first time turning your computer on. If you turn it on and everything shuts off within a couple of seconds, don't touch anything within, I want to say probably 10 seconds maximum, the computer will turn back on by itself and you can go ahead and do that. If you do not have a second computer to download windows to, then what you can do is go to, let's say the library. I guess is the only way that I could think to explain this. You go to the library, you download Windows, install it on a USB drive. You do need a USB drive. I'm pretty sure they require like a 10 gigabyte drive. I'm not 100% positive on that. Um, and then, yeah, it's literally just download it, put it on the USB. Windows shows you everything to do on their website. And then you literally do what I did in this video. You just plug it into your computer after everything boots up, hit save and exit. And then it'll automatically detect the USB inside the computer you go from there and expect me to tint my computer because that looks fire dude that looks really cool i love that that looks really good because you can't it makes the blacks blacker and it lets the light all right so we're gonna really i'm gonna put you down here and it's probably gonna unplug but i'm gonna hope that it does like so i want to show you guys this because it really looks super cool so i'm trying really hard right now to break, break this so i'm gonna go ahead and Oh, you guys can see it. Yeah. So I'm going to move you over here. All right, cool. So you kind of see how like the inside is like the whites are white still, but the blacks are so black. Whereas mine, it has, so that's everything. Windows is literally installing now. So your boy won't shut up and he will continue talking. So I'm going to end the video. Hope this helped you. Peace.